Today, I'm going to level with you about level lines in material stage. So when you're building your rooms, we recommend drawing about three level lines in all your panoramas. That's so you can avoid problems like this. Uh, look at this corner. See how the lines aren't matched well? The floor point's where it should be, but this ceiling point is too low. But when you look at this corner, oops, wait, our room is loading. Okay, so when you look at this corner, both points match perfectly. The floor point and the ceiling point, and in this corner too. But then again, in this fourth corner, the ceiling point is too low. So that means our room is slanted. This whole area is a bit too long for what we've drawn. Now that happened because our panorama isn't level. That means the vertical lines in the panorama aren't actually pointing straight down. So if we open leveling view over here, this grid will pop up. Now this grid we know is really vertical. So if we zoom in, we can try to check if this one is vertical too. And you see that that's not the case. Um, in this one, you can see that you, you would expect that this whole thing would stick to the line. But over here, you can see there's a bit of a gap between um, the window and the actual vertical line. And it's because of this tilting, that's why our room is slanted. Now, this usually happens when your camera wasn't positioned properly while you were taking photos. Maybe your lens was tilted like that, even just slightly off-center. And because of that, you ended up with this inaccurate perspective. You'll notice that the tilting isn't even that bad. Like, this is just a really small gap. But you still ended up with this pretty big mess over here. That's because in material stage, proper perspective is everything. That's what your whole room is based on. So even a slight error like this one, that's going to give you a lot of headaches while room building. But if you do have this problem, that's okay. You can use the leveling tool over here to straighten it out. You'll find it hidden under our select tool and then under leveling and orientation over here. So let's try it right now. I'll just go back to panorama view so I can move around. Okay, so all I have to do is first I have to look for a vertical line in our photo something that we expect will be vertical so something like this one or this one and then i'm going to click draw level line over here and i'm going to click the top of that line and click the bottom and yeah you can see it automatically straightened out just a bit in this area so that's how to draw your level line i just have to add around two more for each panorama there's lots of possible lines though, like we could draw here or here. Which ones would be best? Like, is this line better than, um, let's say this line? But when you're trying to decide where to draw your level lines, just remember these three guidelines. Number one, stick to door frames or foundation columns. Number two, the longer the better. Number three, go around the room. So let's go through those guidelines one by one. So the first one, stick to door frames, like this one. Or foundation columns, like maybe, um, like maybe imagine this is the basement and you have this huge pillar over here. That would be a good place to draw your level line. Now, the reason for that is those areas, um, foundations, door frames, those tend to be the sturdiest parts of the house. Plaster corners like this one, let's say, sometimes they end up curved, especially if you're in really old houses. Maybe it's been through a few earthquakes, you'll notice that it's a little dented over here. But door frames like this one, they were built to be strong. So they're still going to be straight even when your walls are already crooked. That's why when, when I was a kid, my dad used to tell us, if there's an earthquake and there's no tables or beds nearby to hide under, we should stand under a door frame because that's going to stay up. So that's your bonus tip for the day. And moving on, besides door frames and foundations, when you're drawing level lines, you want to pick a vertical line that's long. Because the longer your line is, the more information you're giving the software about your photo and how it should be corrected. So, for example, this one, this would be a good line because it's pretty long. So we'll add one over there. Yep. Okay, and the reason for that is the longer your line, the more accurate your leveling is going to be. And lastly, the last guideline, you want to make sure that your level lines are scattered around your panorama. Don't just bunch them all into one place, like add one more here and another one here because we already have two level lines over here. And the reason for that is the same as why we selected longer lines because we want to give the software more information. 
So for this one, I'm going to add a level line, let's say here, because I trust window frames a bit more than plaster corners. Okay, yeah. And now that we've drawn our level lines, let's just confirm that the photo is truly level. So we activated leveling view, and we'll just go around the room. Um, just make sure that the vertical lines are actually vertical now. And that looks to be the case. Yep, so looks like our job is done. Our photo is now level. So now we're going to correct this one. Uh, we'll go back to panorama view. First, I'm going to make sure that our reference point, sorry, our reference line is still accurate because this is where our floor is based on. Yep. And now let's go back to our draw tool over here. Okay, so I'm done adjusting the floor and the ceiling. As you notice, it's now fitting much better than before. This one is flush. Um, the floor point and the ceiling point flush against the line. This one, it's still a little eh. But most people going through your tour aren't going to notice this little corner over here. So that's fine. Uh, one thing, um, I added a little more level lines around the room because I noticed while I was rebuilding it that this area, for example, wasn't really level still. So I just added a little extra. That's why it's important to confirm using the leveling view that everything's going well. So that's our reference panorama done. Now it's time to do the next panorama. First, let's try to combine these two without leveling this panorama first. As you notice, it's not really bad, actually. Like you notice some distortion over here and a bit over here. So even leveling just one panorama is going to be a lot of help. But if you want to make your tour as high quality as you can, you can go over here and again, just add level lines. So I'll just add them about where we added the last one, over here, same areas, and then this huge line over here. Just correcting that. And then let's go, guess, over here. Sometimes it's a bit hard to see, so I have to zoom in and add one over here. And then let's go to leveling view just to confirm that everything's straight now. So like this one, this line is straight, matches perfectly. Um, go over here, this line, that's straight through that corner, is it? So I think we can adjust that a bit more. So let's also add one level line over here. See this window frame. Yep, that, that makes it a lot better. Yeah, we're done leveling this one. So let's just go back here to correct our alignment. Okay, now back to panorama view. So you can see it's much better than before. Not entirely perfect, again, in this corner. But again, people aren't going to notice this little corner over here. And that's how you level your photos with material stage. Now, one last thing before we wrap up this video. So going back to select tool and leveling and orientation. You'll notice we have this little experimental feature over here to auto-level our panoramas. So first, let's show our level lines. If I activate this one, Stage is going to use computer vision to automatically add level lines wherever it sees fit. But as you can see, it's, I wouldn't call it very accurate. There's more level lines than we need. And some of them, they're not really vertical. Um, if you go to our reference panorama over here and also activate auto leveling, 
then you'll notice that it even added the vertical line over this tree over here which which is definitely an error so checking this option over here just made our photo even more tilted than before so generally you're not going to want to use this feature let's deactivate that again over here i would say only use it if you have a really basic room like imagine if this room had no windows and this wall was in glass and this door wasn't looking out and inside maybe if you had barely any furniture then maybe auto leveling will work for you but for most cases just draw your level lines manually using this tool and you'll end up with less headaches as a result and that's it for leveling with material stage happy tour building